Hello, and welcome to the installation video for Savage Fabrications Tappet Covers. The kit we send out is going to include the cover, a gasket, six bolts, six spacers, and six washers. Some things it doesn't come with that we also recommend using during the install is going to be oil resistant RTV, typically black RTV, and a product from Permatex called Gasket Shellac, or any other comparable product, as well as red or blue high temp Loctite. Now, typically what we like to do is repair the tappet cover and then start removing the pump while everything is drying. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is prop the cover up so the bolt holes are unobstructed and the letters are facing down. The cover will only fit one direction. The, the bolt holes are not even left to right. So once you have the cover in place, you're going to want to apply some RTV to one side of the spacer. You'll then want to set them over the hole and then put a bolt through it and we move it gently just to create a little bit uh, better bond. So once you've finished placing all six bolts in the spacers, you can take your gasket and using some shellac we cover one side of the gasket. Once you've coated one side of the gasket, you can take the, take the gasket, place it down on the cover on the side that has no letters on it and you're going to want to you know go over it a few times make sure you get any wrinkles and kinks out of the gasket get it sitting nice and flat and have it following the shape of the cover itself very nicely because it once you get this step done it is going to sit there so once you have these two steps completed everything should be staying in place during install uh, just make sure that you do give everything time to set. You don't want to uh, you don't want to do this early and have things start falling off while you're in the middle of your install. So while you are waiting for everything to dry, you can remove the pump from the vehicle. With the pump out, you will want to make sure that the line right here and the lower pump bracket right next to it here get removed and then near the back of the motor if it still has the mechanical lift pump and the heater this line and the one right next to it also need to come out once it's clear in front of the cover you can start removing the old one just like the new cover you got from us this one has six bolts front to back All right, once you get the old cover off it is now time to clean the area thoroughly this truck was very dirty and we did spend roughly an hour just cleaning it out. We used uh, utensils like paper towels, Q-tips, Scotch-Brite razor blade, and a little bit of brake clean to try to get it as clean as we possibly could. Um, being clean and getting the inside and ceiling areas clean is key in the success of the ceiling of the gasket. If you do not spend enough time cleaning the gasket area and the surfaces, it will result in a higher chance of the vehicle developing a leak, which is probably the reason you bought this kit is to fix that. So just make sure that you do take your time here, don't be in a rush, and clean out all the ceiling surfaces get all the dirt out if the vehicle was dirty this truck was a dairy truck so it is definitely covered in dirt um, just you know be very thorough on cleaning it out so now that the new cover has been allowed to set we can begin installation on the vehicle so get your bolts ready and carefully get the cover where it should be in place Start by threading the bolts in by hand. This is just to hold the cover in place. Then, from back to front, one at a time, remove the bolt, install the ceiling washer. You do not need RTV on these, but if you want to add it to both sides of the washer, use it sparingly. A little goes a long way. Then you're going to want to put a little bit of blue or red high temp Loctite on the bolt and reinsert it into the hole. Torque spec is 18 foot pounds. I personally like to set them at 20 to 22 foot pounds to help from backing out due to the engine's harmonics. If you do 
want to torque over 20 foot-pounds, start at 20 and go up by 2 foot-pounds to make sure the hardware won't strip out. Once you get all six bolts in and torqued, the cover is now installed and you are ready to reinstall the pump. If you liked the video and found it helpful, smash that like button. And if you want to know when a new video comes out, go ahead and hit that notification bell and you'll know right when the next video comes out. I want to thank everyone for watching. I hope that this did help you on your install and that you have a great day. Thank you.